All right, this is a quick little intro to the project that I did yesterday, or the first part of what I did yesterday, and that's for this uh, Atlas Lathe 9-69A bolt. And this is the way the bolt looks. And uh, in the video that follows, I'm going to show you a quick and dirty way to build one of these. This is one of those things make these machines affordable again. You can get these on Fleabay there. Yeah, they're wanting $10 a piece for these on Fleabay. Um, and I'm going to show a couple of different ways of doing it. The quick and dirty way is what I'm showing in part one. It's simply taking a 3.8.16 carriage bolt, two inches long. We're facing off the outer head. We're turning the diameter. And uh, you've, got a, you've got a perfectly functional replacement for your thing for probably 50 cents and 20 minutes time at the lathe. So these are one of these I consider a good little skill building project. But I also said yesterday that, you know, I've seen them both ways. The factory ones are unturned on this section. One of the ones that the seller's selling uh, has an unturned portion here. Most of the carriage bolts that you're going to find have a, are threaded full length. And I said, well, that was, it was better having them unthreaded because that was a bearing surface. It's not a bearing surface. The way they go together is it's... Uh, your sleeve goes on there, your banjo would be out here, your sleeve goes on, your bushing with your gear sits on here, and that's what rotates on the outside of the sleeve. So um, all this bolt is is just uh, just holding the assembly together, then you got a washer going on, and then the, then the nut. So there's no movement at all on this. A fully threaded length all the way through makes absolutely no difference, and it'll work perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to turn out a set of these once I get the turret lathe converted over next time, probably, and we'll build some pretty close to back-to-factory specs of what they originally were. You know, they're going to be a, you know, I don't know what cost is going to be. They're going to be more than doing it yourself with that carriage bolt. But uh, my feeling is, back on making these machines affordable, 10 bucks for a 2-inch carriage bolt, um, is pretty ridiculous. So build these in your own shop. That's what we're showing in part one. Part two, we'll go back and we'll turn one, you know, if you're only wanting to turn one or two, um, we'll turn a one back to the factory specs and, and machine it accordingly. So, all right, well, let's proceed with making one of these little studs. Now this is a factory stud. This is for our gear change or to carry our gears in the, on the banjo on the 10 inch lathe, 10 and 12 inch. So what a lot of these guys are doing is, um, that they're selling on Fleabay is they are taking this this stud and they're reproducing them so that they look like this. And all they're doing is these, and some of these have got a, a threaded shank or an unthreaded portion on them. I, as of yet, have not found, I've not checked up my Ace hardware, but I haven't found a source for the uh, un, uh, unthreaded portion up here on the top, which would match the original. I don't think this is a major, major thing. It's riding on a steel bearing, and where the threads start on this do not go out all the way on that, uh, on where the gears are carried anyway. So I've, I've seen them sold both ways on Fleabay, and they're getting, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks, 15, uh, about 10 bucks a piece for them, I think. So anyway, I thought we'd do a little quick Fleabay build here, and we're just gonna turn out one of these. So let's get on with it. These are pretty simple. They are 5 eighths diameter and head thickness really doesn't matter as long as you've got something. This one's about uh, eighth of an inch, 0.125. So anything that's close in there is going to work. So we're shooting for about 625. This one's a little bit undersized, it's about 62. So we're gonna shoot for about 625 on it. And all I've got is just a plain old, these are two inches long, two inch long carriage bolt. And this one I believe is probably galvanized from the looks of it, it's just one I grabbed out. If I was concerned about these threads, which I'm not in this instance, you can uh, pad your jaws with bronze, brass, aluminum works fine. I use aluminum just because I've got my airplane built, so I've got a lot of pieces around that I, I use a lot of uh, packing out of just thin aluminum that for round stock looks like this. I just take a little strips of aluminum and whatever size and, and turn them and then wrap them on whatever I'm doing. Um, you could nut these, put nuts on them and hold that in your chuck as long as you leave enough sticking out so that you've got tool clearance when you turn these down. But since I'm not concerned about this, this is just one we're doing for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to chuck it in the three jaw. So we're not going to clamp it real tightly and we probably won't even mar them, but chuck them up. We're going to turn our outside diameter. I guess we better know about where we're starting out with.
Yeah, we're about uh, seven. So if we take off about 75, let's just start cutting it and see where we end up. This is actually a little bit smaller than what I think most of the, the heads are. We may have to we may have to check that because this may not be quite thick enough to work, but there again, the, the principle is the same. Yeah, this head's a little bit smaller, I think, but there again, for this, for this demonstration, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're about 629 there. We're going to stop right there. How thick are we? Yeah, we're going to be a little bit undersized on our on our head or we're going to have a little more radius left, but that's all right. There again, demonstration purposes only. Yeah, we're about 6'10 there, so we're going to stop right there. We're a little bit undersized. This is one of those little projects I consider a skill builder anyway. You know, if you've got, uh, if you're still learning your machines and gathering parts and everything, this is a quick and easy one. It costs you virtually nothing. You know, if you're going to do it this way, a carriage bolt's going to cost you all of what, 50 or 60 cents probably. And um, I don't know, what have we spent here? All, all of 10 minutes maybe? So as I have time and I've already started on this one, um, when I sit down at Fusion 360, I'm drawing these out in CAD. So uh, these drawings will be available on our Patreon page. You know, as I add them, there's nothing there yet, but um, it's something that's there if you feel like supporting this channel. But otherwise, and when I'm done, I take this over and hit it on the buffer. And this is what we end up with. Both looks just like that, other than having the unthreaded portion. This one being kind of dirty. And there again, that's a perfectly functional part that you spent all of 10 minutes on and 50 cents or a dollar, and you've got a usable bolt there. So there we go.
hopefully you can take something from this and utilize it in your shop. Comment suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below, guys. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.